Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on PBT family? You know, I have the credit card points and miles game on lock, but one thing I've been looking for is where can I take my cash back that I earn from various credit cards and put where I can actually accumulate even more money, more value and have money when I travel. Cause I'm traveling for free. I'm flying for free. I'm staying in hotels for free, but I have to have money to spend when I get where I'm going. And what I want to do in this video is I want to break down a couple of cashback credit cards that I use. I'm going to only take four. I'm only going to take four and I have several, but I'm going to go look at these four and see how can I maximize. And I'm going to also not only see, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to maximize the cash bag that I earn, whether it's 5%, whether it's 2%, whether it's 3%, whether it's 4%, and put it into other investment vehicles to earn even more money. Hey, welcome to Points Blank Travel, everyone. My name is Rod, and on this channel, we talk about credit. We talk about credit cards. We talk about points, miles, cash back, personal finance, how to travel around the world or around the country for little or no money out of your pocket. If there's something you're interested in, do your boy a favor, subscribe to the channel, get a video a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, share it on your social media platforms. Make sure you do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Check out the various links down in the description. There's a link for my FICO. If you want to see how to monitor your credit and make sure your credit score is on point, check out the link down below. If you're having credit issues, credit challenges, check out the link for the credit pros. It's down in the description. Or if you're looking for the right credit card with a sign up bonus that could blow your mind, it's down in the description. And with all that being said, you know what time it is. Let's roll, baby. All right, what I want to do right now is I want to talk about four different cashback credit cards where I earn cashback in various bonus categories, and I'm earning somewhere between 2 to 5% cashback on every purchase, baby, every purchase, 2 to 5% cashback. And the first card I want to talk about is my City Custom Cash card. I earn 5% cashback on the category that I use the most. And the category that I'm using for that car is grocery stores. I'm earning 5% cash back for every dollar spent. The next card I wanna talk about is my beloved Discover card. And right now with this card, I am earning 5% cash back on mobile wallet purchases. So wherever I go, if they take mobile wallet, Apple Pay, I don't have no Samsung Pay and Google Pay and jump around the block pay i don't have none of that i'm using apple pay and i get five percent cash back on every purchase the next card in my wallet where i'm earning cash back is my bank of america customized cash rewards card this card earns three percent cash back on the category of your choice and i am currently using it for gas stations but because i'm a per premium or preferred rewards client with Bank of America, I get a 25% bonus, meaning I'm earning 3.75% cash back. And in order to take advantage of this, you have to have $20,000 or more in assets with Bank of America. The last card, this is a no frills card. You don't have to have no $20,000 and all this other stuff. That is the city double cash card where I'm earning 2% cash back on every purchase. Now, keep in mind with that card, you're gonna earn 1% cash back when you make the purchase, 1% cash back when you pay the bill. Now, what I wanna do right now is I wanna talk about a new savings account for my travel, wherever I travel. And I have several different situations, several different strategies that I use for travel. You know, I have checking accounts, I have savings accounts. But I'm like, how can I earn more bang for my buck? And what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a little experiment. And I'm actually going to show y'all tonight. I'm going to look. We're going to look at a couple of things. I'm going to make some a crypto purchase. But I'm actually putting some of my travel rewards or my cash back into Cosmos 
a cryptocurrency, ticker symbol Atom, A-T-O-M, Atom, Cosmos. And I'm earning 20% interest on the 5% cash back I'm getting from money that I already spent. Gas stations, grocery stores, whatever else I decide to buy that are necessities, everyday life purchases. Now, not only am I earning 2 to 5% cash back, but I'm also going to earn 20% interest on this money. And what I want to do right now is I want to make sure I take you along for the ride. But before we go any further, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Make sure you do your own research before it invests in any of your hard-earned money. And now we're going to get into it, y'all. I'm about to show. Oh, Lord, I'm about to show y'all some tricks, baby. All right, what I'm going to do right now is show y'all Live Coin Watch, which is one of the websites that I use to track my cryptocurrencies, to track my investments. And as you can see, Cosmos, ticker symbol A-T-O-M, is currently trading at $10.46 per coin. The only thing that I want to show y'all here, because I'm going to switch over to Coinbase, is the all-time high is $44.48. That is four times my money. So what I'm looking at here, and I am using this account as a travel expense account, and I'm taking all the cash back that I'm earning for my cash back credit cards, and I'm going to put in the Cosmos and a couple different other places. Stay tuned for more videos on that. But I wanted to show y'all that I can four times my money. Now what I want to do is come over to Coinbase, because I like to look at this. And I don't care about all this stuff up here, all the circulating supply and all that. I do want to focus on one thing. The typical hold time is 76 days. Let me go ahead and highlight that, show y'all. The typical hold time for Cosmos is 76 days. But one thing that I want everyone to see, how is the trading activity? Is this a coin? Am I making a stupid mistake here? Am I losing my day on mine? No. But the trading activity right now, 93% of the people on Coinbase are buying this coin. 7% of the people are selling. It is the 18th most popular coin on Coinbase. Now, I, this is important, ladies and gentlemen. I can stake or hold my money on Coinbase and earn 5% APY or annual percentage yield. But I'm going to do a separate video and I'm going to show you how I'm earning 20% APY on Cosmos. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and jump over here and I'm going to make a purchase. And as you can see, I'm still still on Coinbase. I'm switching different screens. I'm still logged into the same account, but it's just to make it easier. Now, one thing you want to make sure when you go to buy your crypto. Now, if there is an advanced uh, mode and there is a basic mode. I'm in advanced mode because the fees are cheaper. Now, if I was to make this purchase in the basic mode, and this is where you have to be smarter than the average bear, ladies and gentlemen. I don't drop gems. I don't drop nuggets. I drop boulders, baby. And the boulder in this video, you have to be smarter than the average bear. However, comma, I'm going to pay probably 12 to 13 cent for this transaction. But if you're not comfortable with looking at all this hoopla that's going on on the screen, look at all this here. If you're not comfortable with that, you may want to go into the basic mode and i'm going to show you here in a minute but you want to make sure you're on market now if you do limit it's saying that the limit price is ten dollars and forty four uh five ten dollars forty four cent forty four five cent whatever i don't know why they put the five on it that's stupid to me but you are because now if what it's saying i can place a trade here i can make a purchase and once they get down to ten dollars and 44 cent is going to make the purchase for me. I don't want to do that. I like to be a market. I want to buy right now. What is it doing right now? I want to buy right now. I have $20 to invest. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to type in $20. That's going to give me 1.87. Adam is showing you right here. Estimated fee is 12 cents. Average price is $10.58. Because they're going to charge me that 12 cent. I'm going to scroll down. I have 0.632 atom available. I have 20 $20.25 cent available. I'm going to click buy atom. Success. I don't want to add any funds. So what I'm going to do right now, let me, let me make this a little smaller. 
Yeah, let me click on it and make it a little smaller. And who knows? Maybe it won't. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my assets. And it should show me where I made the purchase. Let me come down here to Cosmos. And for some reason, it's all kind of stuff going on here. Yep. There it is. Here's my balance. I'm going to click on that. It's going to show you that I bought 1.90 Atom. And again, this here is, it is acting crazy for some reason tonight. I don't know. It's probably because I'm sharing my screen. Let me unshare this here. Come back over here and do this here without any... Uh, refresh that take it back down to a smaller screen and it's still showing the same thing but y'all get the gist of it I just purchased 1.87 Adam and what I'm looking forward to and I'm gonna do a separate video is I'm gonna show you how I actually am gonna transfer this out of coinbase into my trust wallet and I'm going to earn 20% interest. Stay tuned. I'll probably do the video. I don't know. Maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. But it's going to be immediately following this video. It won't be immediately. I mean, it'll be maybe a day, day or two. But I want to show you. So tell me, what do you think of Adam? Are you currently invested in Adam? Are you putting your money somewhere where it can keep growing for you? i love to hear about it. Please post it in the comments below. Again, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. We're doing a couple of personal finance videos, but don't worry. I'm going to get back to the credit card and the points and miles videos. I have a couple of different videos that's going to be coming out. What's in my wallet is coming up for November 2022. I have a couple of different uh, credit cards that I think would be good in a lot of people's different wallet wallets. But right now, let me know. What do you think about this investment? Are you even invested? I love to hear about it. Subscribe to the channel. Get a video or thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. Share it on your social media platforms. And as I end each and every video, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars. I can guarantee you I will be coming at you soon. Dropping more heat. Dropping more fire. More importantly, dropping more knowledge. And until the next time, peace, baby.